screening to our tone scales. Um, you should have already made these. I would recommend grouping each of the tone scales so they're easier to select. If you go to Window, Esco, Screening, these may not be the values that are in there, but the values that you're going to enter are 120, um, which is the LPI listed at the top of each column. Um, LPI and ruling are the same. And you're going to use 45 as the angle, dot shape, circular Euclidean, and DGC curve to none. Um, you're going to apply your curves using the strategy that you made. So make sure this is none and click apply. Again, for the 121 column, you're going to do window, ESCO, screening, 121, 45, circular Euclidean, none, and click apply. I've already uh, done the seven, 175 and 176, but to check that these took, go to Window, ESCO, Ink Manager. It will tell you that I only have black as a color, but I have several rulings. And if I select them, I can say um, 176. If I choose this square with the dots in the corner, it will show me what has that ruling applied. So 176 is only there, 121 is only here, which is what I want. 175 should actually be the majority of the document, but as far as our tone scales, it's only selecting here. And 170, 120, my apologies, um, should be a couple places within the document, but as far as your tone scales, it should only be right here. Um, in lab, we will go over ripping and launching the workflow for the document.